Hi a chance. Did you know sometimes the things you say are so wrong there are actually multiple ways to disprove them? Last night on my first pass through your plea to let you do your job, I neglected to mention something extremely important about one of your points. By the way, before I go any further, to anyone else watching this, thank you for being here. I think you'll agree that the goblin has screwed up big time. Let's see what he said. What's up, YouTube? So, I'm here to talk about something. Uh, something that has been on my mind for a while. And what I want to know is, why do you trolls continue to attack me? I mean, why? I, mean, I understand that I may have made some mistakes. And I get that you guys don't like that I don't say what it is, but there's a reason why I don't. There's a very valid reason why I don't. Granted, some of you might not go after me for it, and that is true. Some of you do genuinely want to see me better myself, and I appreciate that. Even if even those of you that don't like me, some of you do want to see me better myself, and I want to do better, I do. But the reason why I will not speak about what went down with Marty, or with Tibbs, is because I know there's a few out there that would blast me even more. Hey Chance, do you realize you pretty much just admitted what you're saying you don't want to admit to? It's a bit complicated, so let me give you an analogy. Imagine a guy named David. Picture him going into a kitchen, opening a cupboard, taking out a container of salt and pouring a bunch into the sugar bowl. He puts it back and walks away. Minutes later, Edward comes in and makes coffee. He likes his sludge sweet, so he's rather liberal with what he thinks is just sugar. Of course, when he goes to take a drink, he notices it's a lot saltier than he expected. Edward knows sugar does not simply turn into salt. Somebody had to put salt in the sugar. He says to David, who Did you put salt in the damn sugar? Who replies with I can see why you'd be angry at me for making that mistake. I've seen other people get yelled at for admitting their mistakes, so I can't admit to pouring salt in the sugar. Do you see how? By saying he didn't want to admit what he did because he fears the consequences, David admitted to salting the sugar. After all, if he hadn't done anything, David would have maintained his innocence. He would have said, Don't be daft, I didn't put salt in the sugar. Instead of, Can't admit to pouring salt in the sugar. This is what's called a non-admission, admission. When someone inadvertently admits something, without directly saying so. So to wrap up as bluntly as possible, Chance, you know what you did here was wrong. Whether you admit it or not, we know you did this and that you've done it several times. We know there are probably children out there you've successfully done this with too. We don't want there to be more, 